Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory be to God in the highest. Hallelujah. Glory be to the Lord in the highest. Hallelujah. Everybody shout hallelujah, 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 for his goodness, hallelujah, 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 God is faithful, Hallelujah, 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 for his mercy, hallelujah, 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 God is powerful, hallelujah, 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 for His goodness, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. God is so great. God is so real. God is so wonderful. His name be praised, worship, honored, adored forever. For unto the Lord be all the glory. Forever you be the Lamb upon the throne. We worship you, we bless you. We praise you, Lord. Thank you for life. Thank you for allowing us, giving us life, sustaining us to be among the living. Oh, blessedness and honor, dominion, adoration, and thanksgiving to the name of Emmanuel. For him alone be all the glory in Jesus' name. Father, your word is about to comfort, O oh God. It's not by power, not by mind. Father, let me disappear that you will appear. Let me disappear that your word will comfort, comfort in power, comfort with unction, comfort with anointing. Mighty man of valor, the everlasting Father, the great I am that I am. The God of power, might and majesty, the God of truth and reality. Have your divine and excellent way. Have your divine and gracious way. And let thy name alone be praised, exalted, and glorified in the name of Jesus. Father, minister the word of life to all. Father, speak your word to us. Father, minister your word to all. That at the end, O Lord, your name be praised, exalted, and glorified in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Blessed be your name, O God, and the mighty man of valor. To you be our glory, Daddy, in Jesus' name. Amen. What a friend we have in Jesus. Do you know what it means to have a friend in Jesus? Do you know what it means that Jesus is your friend? What a friend we have in him. What a mighty God we have in him. What a loving father. What an excellent savior. What king we have in him. To him be the glory in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. We give God all the praise. Thank God for another beautiful day. And then, another beautiful time the Lord has made. We worship Him. Amen. We've been dealing on the subject that says, spend your time wisely. Spend your time wisely. And we're dealing with, a. Uh, this is part two of it. In the part two of it, we're still in a side of it, which is what the Bible says about time. What the Bible says about your time. We have, been, we have succeeded in telling you that we are going to stop one day. We are like that engine. God filled us with his grace. And then we are, saying, we are steaming. That is life in us. One day, the fuel is going to end up. The grace is going to dry off. And one day, we are going to end here on earth. And one day, we shall be referred to as diseased. One day we shall be referred as that thing. One day we shall be referred as the remain. We shall not be strong all years and all long time. Now you have opportunity to make good use.
use of fees. Make use of your time. Make use of your time. Make use of your time. Make proper use of your time. Bible warned us and said, redeem the time. In so many places, Bible was talking about time. Whenever Bible is talking about time, it's talking about opportunity. It's talking about a time, a mapped out, a giving out grace. Now you got to use it and do it. There is time for everything. Now I've succeeded to tell you what the Bible said about timing. Yeah, that God should teach us to number our days. If God should teach us to number our days, we didn't know that we're going to stop one day. We didn't know that we're going to stop one day. We didn't know that we're not going to live and live forevermore. We're going to one day stop existing here on earth and begin to exist in eternity. Where we shall turn and become spirits, we shall no more die. Where we shall live with God forever and ever. And some people will be doomed in hell forever. Nobody will remember whether you married on earth. Nobody will remember whether you built a house on on earth. Nobody will remember whether you went to school on earth. Nobody will remember anything again. Time will be on the prorata, you know, on the same level, on the same equality. And that's what God told me, saying, why is going to judge every human being accordingly and on every level is that he gave every human being the same measure of time. The time he gave the American 24 hours is the time he gave an African. Is the time he gave an Asian. Is the time he gave people from Australia. And it's the time he gave people from Europe, the Europeans. He gave all of us the same time, 24 hours a day. Then it depends on what you do with your time. In your time is your labor. In your time is your future. In your time is your education. In your time is your achievement. In your time is your salvation. God package all these things and put them in a time that when you come through time, then there are people that got born again when they are 10 years, some got born again in 15 years, some got born again 15, 25 years, some got born again 30 years, some got born again when they were 50, some got born again when they were 70, some got born again even at their sick bed at 8 at 90. That means they have wide away their time. At the dying minute, that's the time they came to the knowledge of the Mecca. That was the time the salvation grace manifested to them. Oh my God. Oh my God. But those who are opportunity that are the earlier time of their life, salvation grace manifested to them. They are to be happy. They are to be glad. They are to be rejoiced. We're talking about time. We're talking about time. We are talking about time. What are you doing with your time? When you have the time, there is time to be established. There's time to go to school. There's time to get married. There's time to build a house. There is time to get born again. There is time, 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 time here on earth. So that God to teach us to number our days and that God to remind all that we are not going to remain permanent here on earth and then each time these are some of the things that God have created in us, have created for all. That we should be careful with time. I still want to get to another point about time here again in the point four right now on what the Bible says about time. On what the Bible says about time. In the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1. Okay? Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1. The Bible said, To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. There is a time, a stipulated time, a time to go to school. Look at another version. Look at another version of the Bible. It says, there is an opportune time to do things. A right time for everything on the earth. That's an opportune time to do right things. That's an opportune time to do right things. That is time for everything under the earth. That is the right time to do things under the earth. That is what the Message Bible said. The version I just read is Message Bible. That is what he's telling us, that there is time for everything under the earth. There is time for everything under the earth. But because there is time for everything under the earth, we shall never and anyway while away time. I still want to read on this message Bible again. Verse 1 of it saying, well, there is an opportune time to do things, a right time for 
everything on the earth, a right time for birth and a right time for death. But that means there are people who are born on the wrong time, they die because they are born on the right time. A right time to born and a right time to die. That means there are people that die before their time. There are people that die a right time to plant and another at the right time to reap again. A right time to kill and another right time to heal. A right time to destroy another and another to construct. A right time to cry and another to laugh. That means there's a right time for everything. There's a right time for you to go to school. There's a right time for you to be established. There's a right time for you to get settled in life. There's a right time for you to build a house. There's a right time for you to be born again. But when you use the time of schooling and you use it for time of jest, and the enjoyment, when the people, when it is time for enjoyment, you will go to school, you will be on the crying side, you will be on the crying level. You see how people misuse their time. You see how people use the right time for a wrong thing. And when it is the right time for the right time, they will be a failure. They will have nothing to do again. They have nothing to achieve again. They have nothing to do with time again because they have wired away their time. Just like somebody who grew up because you are from a rich family, you begin to mess, you mess up money and begin to make wrong use of the money, eventually the money begin to fly away, you cannot know how to manage again. Because by the time you have to learn how to manage, was the time you were spending money like that, and by the time you were then to spend money wisely, then money ran away. You know the Bible said that riches man wings and they fly away. This is time for us to make good use of our time. Can you begin to say, go? Oh, how have I wasted your time? How have I wired away your time? How have I messed up your time? How have I dealt with your time? How have I said that we use wrongly the time of God I'm supposed to use rightly? I begin to use it in a very wrong way. This is time for us to ask ourselves questions. I want you to begin to share these messages because this is what is happening right now. People are using the right time for the wrong thing and they're using the wrong time for the right thing. That, uh, everything will appear at the right time. Let me tell you, if you appear before your time, you will disappear before your destiny. Some people want to manifest. God may want you to manifest in 10 years' time. And you say it must be in 2020 you manifest. You manifest in 2020. Before 2030 will come, you are expired. And you will get out because that's not your timing. That is not your timing. Let me tell you, at the timing of God, everything becomes possible. At the timing of God, everything becomes willing. At the timing of God, everything begins to go out progressively and begin to work. There is time for on earth. Can you begin to say, God, are you, have, you have appointed time for me. You created me for time, and you created me in time, and you created me with time. God knew why you were born the moment you were born. He knew why he chose Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. He chose one for you to be born on that particular day. Of the 24 hours of the day, he knew why he chose that particular hour where you were born. And then you were born, he knew why you were born in the family where you were born. You were born in the right family with the right command of God. Some people are regretting they came from Africa. Some people are regretting they came from here. I am so proud to be an African. I'm so proud to be a Nigerian. I am so proud to be an Igbo. Where God created me, I am too proud of that. I am created for a purpose. You are created for a purpose. So many people say, why was I not born in Clinton family? Why was I not born in, in Brigade family and all this? You will be useless when you are born there. If you are born there, because God has created you, Beget was not born that way, but He made the brain, you know, and all the any man that successful you see here on earth, we are not born that way. They begin to work it out. God wants you to work it out, just the Bible says, work out your salvation with trembling and fear. Do, do you have time for fellowship? Do you have time for prayer? What are the time you're walling away? When not that are spending time praying, seeking the face of the Lord, you are doing a different thing. By the time God will be blessing them, by the time they'll be be laughing, then you'll be on sorrow, you'll be crying. There are many people are right now, rightly sowing, and sowing, and sowing, and say, so at this youthful time, I want to sow, and sow, and sow. So many people are making plan, and making great plan for their life, while they are civil servant, while they are still working, they are saving some money, they are doing some investment for old age. But you see some people who will consume all they have, they don't think of that, they don't remember of 
that, they mess up their time and make you, you know, nonsense use of their time. And before you understand it, when it begins to happen, they will be, they will be in pain. They will go and borrow him. And before I understand it, one sickness of hit them, they begin to have high blood pressure. From high blood pressure, they are not organized. They didn't plan their life very, 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 very well. Let me tell you, young man, woman that is hearing me, you will not remain like this forever. So many people have made a great mistake of investing themselves in their life. In their children. They invest everything they have in their children and depend on their children. Let me tell you, the world has changed. That young man invested in education and everything is good. Give him education. Give him all you need, but plan for your future again. Are you hearing what I'm saying? He will go and pick one lady and the lady will tell him, your mom is a wish, your dad is a wizard. And before you understand it, time, you know, you will not be there. Before you will hear them again, once in six months, you will hear their call. And if you are not organized and you didn't plan yourself very well, you will be a mess up and you will die. And they will come and buy expensive coffin, you know, they will buy expensive casket, they will come bring expensive ambulance and whatever and whatever. Oh, my mom is gone. Oh, my dad is gone. But these were the people you make yourself into help them, train them, but not depend on them. If somebody hear what I'm saying, there is time, there is time. Plan, plan, plan. So many people don't know that when other people are planning, thinking of tomorrow, planning, working at their salvation, going closer to God, people will say, no, let me enjoy life. And people kept going into immorality, kept going into life, hatred, gambling, destruction, and whatever. As they go into all these things, whatever thing you sow, that's what you are going to reap. Let me tell you, the summary of life is planting and reaping. Whatever you plan, that's what you're going to reap. Whatever you sow, that's what you're going to reap. That is what life is all about. That's the summary of life. And that's what we're talking about life. So this time around, by the divine grace of God, God is interested in his own people. He wanted, that's why God gave us the medulla of Langata. That's why he gave us reason. That's why he gave us reasoning. That is why he gave us understanding that we've got to plan with time. Plan, use your time wisely. The time you would have used for your salvation is the time you are using for a different thing altogether. The time you would have used to bless the name of the Lord. The time you would have used to praise the name of the Lord. The time you would have used to make peace with God is the time you have used for a different thing altogether. You think that every time is time of joke, every time is time of play, every time. No, 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 no. That is, you know, no, the, 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 the difference between you and the dead man is that the difference between that man that died 30 years ago and the man that died today is just time. Time. Time is just the difference. The difference between you and your future is your time. So make proper use of time right now. Say, God, I've so wide away your time. Some people have slept off and slept and slept and slept in their time. So many people have slept off with their time. Say, God, I've so slept in my time. I will not sleep anymore. I have woken up from sleep. I have woken up from slumber. I shall sleep no more because I want to see you. Because I want to see my future. I want to see the glorious hand of God. I want God to be my Father and my Lord. That is time for everything. Can you begin to say, God, plant my feet? Yeah. Time. Lord, plan my head, plan my feet. At that time, where you want me to be, I just want me to be. When God wants you to be in the east, you're in the south. He wants you to be in the north, and you are in the north. No, 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 no. Your provision, your position determines your provision. Where you are determines the provision of where you are. Are you going to hear me? Are you hearing me right now? So the people get married to this, get married to this. It depends where they are. It depends what their location is. That's where they meet the men they have met. Can you begin to say, and God, oh Lord, I know I've while away your time. I know I've spent your time. I know I've done a lot of contrary things with time. But I depend today. Time, oh God, my King and my God, can you show me mess again? Lord, redirect me and show me. A lot of time, I'm being a haste. And I want to do that, the Lord will speak to me and say, Son, that is not your time yet. That is not your time yet. Stop mimicking people. Stop being like these people. Stop being like the person. The, the difference between you and that great anointed man of God is time. Do you know how you spend your time? Do you know how you spend your time? How or what, what do you put in your time? The level of training, the difference between you and that man and that woman that is highly anointed and the, 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 that preacher you deserve to be like. It's time. He spent his time with the Lord. He spent his time in the Bible. He spent his time in Dioran. But look at you. You spend your time in quarreling. 
By the time you finish quarterly, somebody made a statement and said the people that read about psychiatric people that the, 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 the medical line that it takes 20 years to study it. And somebody said, if it takes me 20 years to read, how many years will it uh, will I practice it before I leave the earth? And that's why so many people are so much in their head. They want to do it today, tomorrow, bam, bam, bam. Some people will travel abroad before understanding. They commit one fraud, one stealing, one destruction. They leave this city and go to another country and go to another country and leave that country, go to another continent entirely. And go. While somebody will go, get his form, begin to read, by three, four, five, six, seven years, he become a citizen of that country and begin to bring his brothers and sisters down. While he says, I'll travel around about the world and go home and went home if he succeed in duping people well he make the money if he doesn't say if he doesn't succeed in lies in duping and stealing he'll put his hand and say ah i moved there and went there i did this i did that i know succeed it's time it's time your greatness lies in time your honor lies in time. The time you spend with the Lord. The quality time you spend with the Lord. The quality time you spend with your family. And that's the joy of the family. Spend your time wisely. Spend your time wisely. There are some men that whenever they come in the evening, you will see them and they will be in the bar. You will see them. They will be in the eating place. They will be eating and drinking. They will be telling stories. They become drunk and they go home. From work, they go to bar and they drink late in the night and they go home. No rapport with the family. No family time with the family, no praying together with the family. So many people are married to job, are married to work, the families cannot stay together and pray at least two, three, four, five times in a week. When you're together, you pray every day with your family, your children will learn it, and then you are making a future family. Do you know that the moment you have children, you have a future family? The moment you have three children, you have three families already. You have duplicated one, you have duplicated three, four families, depending on the children you have. What are we trying to sell you right now? Time, time, time. Everything lies in time. Use your time wisely. The Bible said where we read, that is everything good about time. I'm telling you what the Bible said about time. He said, teach us to number our days, that we will not be here forever, and that God will remember us, remind us that we will be here very, very, very brief, that we will be careful. That's number three with time. And number four now is that each time is for a purpose. Have I used the time of prayer to begin to do praises? Have I used time of praises to begin to do begging? Oh God, help me. Why have I used less your time here on earth? When you use less the time of God, you become a servant to people that make proper use of their time. God knew how long you're going to stay, and He gave you time and said, Within this time, within this circumference, plan it very well. Do it very well. Come on, plan it your way. Some people may spend time sleeping, some people spend time quarreling, some people spend time fighting, some people spend their time in court. A man was bragging and said, I have a case that lasted for 20 years in the court. What, 20 years in one case. 20 years in one case. That's a case that would have mediated in three, four months. Everybody would have gone this way and used the whole finances and used the whole resources to do something. One lawyer had a case for one man. And the case lasted and lasted and lasted. The case lasted for about 20 something years. The case was so long again. Keep a joining, keep a joining, keep a joining. And the man, the lawyer used the money. He got over there the case to train his own son and that too. And when the lawyer was so busy, the, 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 the father was so busy that he couldn't go. He sent his son to that case. His son studied the case. Ah, ah. Ah. When I was in primary school, eh? this case started. Now I have finished primary school. Finish secondary school, finish university, finish your service. I practiced for six, seven years. And this case is still lingering. He went to court. And the judge was saying, Are you not tired of this case? Wouldn't you want to close the son? Rose up the hand and say, Yes, sir. We want to go and reconcile. We want to close up the case. And the judge agreed. Told them to go. When the man came back, he told the father, I have never achieved good time. He said, What did you do? But the son said, that, that case, we have told him we want to go settle out of court. The man said, oh, my son, you failed it. It was that case that I used in training you all the while. It was that case I used in building that upstate over there. It was that case I used in doing this. I love achievement. 
He was using somebody's time. He was making his money. I was giving to lawyer and the lawyer. And what I'm saying, one case, one case, he used it. The man was a new threat. Then he was telling him, ah, the other man said he win you. The man will go and sell land. It's a, it's a very big business, illiterate, illiterate. You know, a very rich illiterate. He was consuming his money. I will he win, I will he win, I will he win. The case that, 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 that he could, the money he spent in that case was 20, 30 times far above. You see how he struggle in life? On one particular case, you see, I will see the end of this. Me, I will be one with you. We are going to fight it out. What time? How much time do you have? You don't have time to You don't have time to You don't have time to hear from God. You have time to play, but you don't hear from God. You have to travel, but you don't have time to listen to a map. Do you study the road map of your life? Every one of us has a road map. Some of us are like this. Some of us are like this. Some are like this. Some are straight. Some are going right. Some are going left. Study your road map. If you study your road map very well, you will then know that you and that particular person you ought not to be the same. That you and that particular person you ought not to be together. You and that particular person you are not the same, and you are not one, and you can never be one. He has a destiny of his own. You have a destiny of your own. He is coming from a different angle, and you will come. You are coming from a different angle altogether. But because you are not wise, because you are not intelligent, you begin to do it the way you. Want to do it because you're not intelligent, you begin to do it outside the will of God, outside the standard of God. And today, God is telling you, God is telling me to tell you that this is time for us to arise. That this time for us to arise and say, Oh God, I want to make the best use of my time. I want to make the proper use of my time. I want to make excellent use of my time. That the time of God will be great. But I'm going to make proper use of the time of God. Oh my God. Oh my God. And another point the is point five is, is, is uh, make best use of your time. Make best use. God. This time now what is the best use? I have television to watch. I have the Bible to read. I have calls to make. Which one is the most important now? Lord? Holy Ghost direct you. So that you don't want to away your time and you less your time. So many people live 80 years ahead. They use out of the 80 years, it might be one year, two years that they use usefully for God. When all the time when they spend God together, it might be three years or four years. And the other one are useless years. And they are celebrating it from several to other. Since you go on again, God mapping around all the time you spend with him. Yeah? The time you use for evangelism. The time you use in making this and reconciling. The time you use in sitting the poor. The time you use in encouraging people. The time you use in paying for people. Every time you spend, they are on God's record. So, number five is that make best use of your time. Yeah, can you say God me today to make best use of my time? Help me to make best use of my time. Let me know why I wear my time. You can at home. You are doing things for Jesus on that. Oh my God. Look at them. Jesus, he was a job at and went to something. He went into a carpentry walk to know how to turn nature. You know, raw things into life, into rhythm, into creative work. That's what you went in to do. Look at Colossians 4 5. The Bible said, Walk in wisdom towards them that are without. In the meantime, those that are without me are believers. You should walk in wisdom with them. When you stay with them, walk in wisdom. Walk in wisdom. Walk in wisdom. Let's walk with them. The Bible said, Use your head as you live and walk among outsiders. Don't miss a track. A tr don't, miss, don't miss a trick. A trick. Make the most of every opportunity. Be gracious in your speech. Make good use of every opportunity. Make good use of every opportunity. So many people are making good use of opportunity on a negative way. There was a road they are constructing around here, the major road. So immediately they block the major road. People begin to divert into the into village road, and immediately the boys 
elders of the village came and blocked the road. If you are passing, when they look at you, that you look responsible, you may, they will be afraid of you. So I go, I beg, what do you have for us? I beg, no matter the amount. And you really begin to collect it, they become happy. And they make good amount of money. You see, they make good use of that opportunity. Only the elders came and scored them and come and remove this thing. And they remove those things, blocking the way of people. Making good use of opportunity. Ah, and it's not opportunities. You know, whenever there's an opportunity, you might say, ah, into whenever there's an opportunity, a wise man will strike and will begin to make his way out. Some make it negatively for God. To live and walk among outside. That is your wisdom. When you live with outsiders, it's not everything you talk to outsiders. It's not everything you discuss among unbelievers. You see, to that, to, you are quarreling with a bro Christian brother, you are rebuking him or her. You don't like what he did, you don't like what she did. Don't do it among the unbelievers. Keep quiet. So, we even do it in the boss. Unbelievers will hear it and they will spoke against the name of your God. Have you heard it? It says that use your head as you live and walk among outsiders. Don't miss a trick. Don't miss it. Don't mix. Anything whatsoever. Make the most use of every opportunity. Be gracious in your speech. The goal is to bring out the best in others in a conversation. Not put them down, not cut them out. The best, whenever you are discussing with everybody, the best is to bring the best out of the person. That's why there are people who are downcasted. When I begin to talk to them, I begin to tell them their value, begin to tell them. Begin to tell them how you have handsome, how great God created them. The best in them, they don't know. Do you know that whenever you have a problem, you don't remember the best thing. You begin to negate the conversation. That woman, you got away. So this is interesting, huh? That woman married, you hate her. Somebody loves her. The man said, eh, my wife. My wife. Somebody said, the man was not referring to the wife. But God was putting the right one in the right mouth of the man. The man got up, dressed up, and began to look at the wife and said, who is that man? Who is that? The wife said, who is that man that's going to marry you? The wife said, who is that man that's going to marry you? Why? I don't know. I told my mom, I told my dad, you can't say, wait. I can't just follow you. He said, I beg you. Neither. Who knows if it is tomorrow the man is coming. You see how God used the preacher to lay the word in his heart. And the fact is why that is talking about. But said that woman you heard, somebody love her. That woman you don't like, let me tell you, that man you call nonsense. Somebody is interested in her. Somebody is dying for that man. Somebody is dying for that woman has overlooked before you again. Somebody is dying for her. Somebody is saying how I wish I can talk to this person. Man in temptation. Are you hearing what I'm saying? What talking about time? What talking about time? Make up use of your time to God Almighty and the Christ shall be glorified. I'm just telling you the Bible saying about time. What the Bible saying about time? What the Bible saying about time? What the Bible saying about time? The point two, go to the end of the Take off your eyes from the world. Fix it on Christ. The best way to make proper use of your time is then take off your eyes from the wall. From these glittering fake things of the wall, and the fake beauty of the world, from the manipulation of the world, remove your eyes from them. Fix your eyes on Jesus. I will tell you the value of time. You see, sometimes Jesus will tell somebody, Jesus friend, I say, You have been here for a long time. That means you are not supposed to have been here again. Yeah? You, the, the man was there when Jesus was in, no, uh, in heaven, and the man was still there. Jesus was born here on earth, and the man was still there. Jesus he, he stayed 30 years, and the man was there. Jesus started his ministry. Oh, 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 oh. and the Lord Jesus went there and said, You have been here. I don't know who you are. Anyway, in time, in 
anywhere you are taking time, I spend more time talking to you. I give authority to the word of God that the glory of God will come anywhere you have, you have stayed. You have gone in that particular place. Oh, mama, mama, come out of that place. The man was at 80 years in one place. He has studied the vicinity of the place. The Bible said he was a particular place for that eight years. The Bible didn't tell us he was a secret for that eight years. He was in a particular place for that eight good years. That eight good years in a problem, in a trouble, all the long and all the while. He was there. So came and told him, you didn't have that sickness for long. Stop wearing those times. Look, you all that go and be so I sick. God. While in the way, you kept complaining, you kept giving reason why you cannot do the work of God again, why you cannot go further again, why you cannot fast again, why you cannot do prayers again, why you cannot evangelize again, because all this is in time. All this is in time. You are going to expire one day. I'm going to fire one day. You have so said your goodness. Everything is like time. Use your time wisely. And say, Lord Jesus, help me to use my time. You see Jesus in 30 years studying. And when they study deliverance, healing, whatever, three good years, three and a half years, he is done. He, because he spent quality time in the training. He spent quality time studying man. And look at what the Bible said that Jesus never believed in any man, never trusted in man because. He knew there's nothing good in man. That was why he was a success. That was why he never fell. But let me tell you, when you trust Mr. A, he broke your heart, you cry and say, oh, they break my heart. Oh, you, trust Mr. A. you have to trust anybody. God did not tell you to trust anybody. He so, whoa, unto you that trust the man. We want to put your trust in Christ Jesus. The King of Kings, the God. That's why God wants you to put your trust. That's why God wants you to put your trust. God wants you to put your trust. Not in man. Not in a mere man that can end any time. Not in a mere man. That is why some people, as they stay with their husband, when their husband died, they are dead. And when their wife died, they are dead. When their child died, they are dead. Why? Because they put their trust, they put their confidence, they put their hope in that man, in that woman, in that child of theirs. No, Bible did not say you should do that. That is why the people you trust so much are the people that are going to break your heart. Are you going, Are you hearing me? Those people you trust so much, that are the people that are going to hurt you so much. That are the people that are going to break your heart. I can tell you, women, hear you this. In marriage, Joe, better don't marry that man you love too much. If you marry, if you marry that man you love too much, you make you to cry too much. Love, uh, marry a man you love. A man that loves you more is better. Are you hearing me? If a man is so much, you will do it in Ghana. He will be going for that girl, a woman in the street, without a girl. He will die for that man because you know, no matter where you are, you are an old punch, he always comes, you so much love him. I'm not saying you shouldn't love a man. But when you are a man, that for a man, watch that man, what it looks like. He will always hurt you. But if it is a man that loves a woman that way, that's right. That is the biblical it's okay, but when a woman is mad, today it is women that are proposing to men. They will see a man and love a man and say, I love you. And you marry me, and the will say, Hey, come on, tell me. But if it's not that, that's not your love. You're not not wife, and woman, find the man. But they will not marry men, but they have the money. Oh, my gosh, you also see. We're talking about time. All this we're talking about is in time. All this we're talking about. Vanity, vanity is empty. Any pursuit to man outside your soul, any pursuit to man, and say, Let me do this, and let me do this. So that later, later, now, I'm going to give my life to Christ. But let me do this first of all. Then I'll be a child of God. You are destroying your soul. You are destroying your soul. No, that thing that will mar your soul, that thing that will destroy your soul, have nothing to do with it at all. Have nothing to do with it at all. 
Have confidence in this God. Have confidence in Jesus of Nazareth. Tell Lord, you are my help. You are my everything. Help me and the Lord will help you. And the Lord will help you. Look at what the Bible said in the book of Ephesians, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 11. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 11, the Bible says, And have no faith with unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. Get in it. I'm not in Pursuing pursuit. This negative pursuit. Hey, let's enjoy a sin for a while. Any sin you are committing, you mind that God will forgive you. Or after committing this sin, I can confess. You are giving you, you are fooling yourself. The Bible, the word of God said that I have a fellowship with unfruitful walls of darkness, but rather reprove them. Have nothing to do with darkness. Have nothing to do with sin. If you want to Make you proper use of your hand. Don't worry where you are saying sin. Is sin can, one sin can be so in bondage all their life. Some person will come to this man and the man was so wicked. The man so unto the man that he ended up in jail. By the time he came, he became so sick and began to lose. That was how the giant head how long is what had kept him in bondage forever and ever. And they let her pursue the woman and told the woman, get out of my house. And the woman left the house. Oh God. Look at what Message Bible told us. Message Bible said in the book of Ephesians chapter 5, verse 11. Message Bible said, don't waste your time on useless work. Don't waste your time on useless work. Mere busy work. Oh my God. Mere busy work. The barren pursuit of darkness. He said, don't waste your time there. On barren pursuit of darkness. Don't waste your time there. Are you hearing me? Expose those things for the shame they are. Tell them you are lying. You are the saying, I cannot eat things of darkness. I cannot eat money of favor. So many of our pastors are defeated from the prostitutes. If a prostitute will go and trade and commit immorality and the tithe will be brought to you, you cannot ask where you get this money from. Where do you get this tithe from? You know what they are doing. Doing. They are on prostitution and they bring the tide. Are you not ashamed? You are pastoring prostitutes. Yes, if you pastor them, it's okay. You tell them the truth, they may repent. But when they are coming with their tide, do you know if you can boldly say, Everybody pay your tide? Please, all the prostitutes, if you know you got the money through stealing, if you know you get the money through prostitution, please, if you know you get this money through alcohol selling, please, if you know you get this money through 419. Please don't your tithe. You will not be blessed. Right? You will be caused by God. When you begin to tell them that they say, ah, so the money I got in prostitution, this man of God doesn't want it yet. He doesn't want it. He needs the money. He progress. The Bible says that the little the other is better than the riches of many wicked. Oh, don't waste your time on this talk. Yeah, the parent boss of those things. It's a shame. Yeah. Hey, it is under when people waste their lives on things they must do in the darkness. We are no one will see. Hey, it says, rip the cover off those frauds and see how attractive they look in the light of us. Hey! I love this version. No. He said, I'm off. That thing in that case, nobody said, I'm off. And now I'm right Whether Christ like it or Christ doesn't like it. Whether Jesus like it or Jesus is not interested in it. I am not with fruitful words of darkness, but I don't put them for it is a shame. It is to speak of those things which are done in the secret. But all things that are reproved are made manifest by the light. For whatsoever do make manifest in life. For everything must manifest in the light. Not how you cover it. God is already in it. Not you cannot cover it from God. You can deny it from me. You can deny it from that man. You can deny it from that woman. But you cannot deny it from God. 
Make proper use of your time. Make good use of your time. Make excellent use of your time. Stop whiling away your time. Stop whiling away time of your children. You put demonic cartoon for your children. They are looking demonic cartoon. They are looking wrestling every day. They are looking football every day. Why can't they play? Why can't they jump up? Why can't they hit the head of their children or their brother or sibling on the ground? That's what they have learned. They need to practicalize it. They need to learn it. Let them have good time with the Lord. Let them have a quality time. Tell your children, I want to know we finish the New Testament. In God them, you it. Oh, God bless you. You are first to read the New Testament in this house. God bless you. God bless you. Another person will follow. You give a gift, and another person will follow. This is time of God for story pain of it. So remove your eyes from the things of the world. Remove your eyes from those vanities. Remove your eyes from the How to do with the one? Number two, don't try to be like the world. Don't try to be like the world. Never try to be like the world. I like this, yet I want to be like the world. You see, like I've kept telling you, the, the, the devil have a lot of evangelists. The, the footballers, the actors, people who act worldly films, the musicians, the wrestlers, they are the demon or devil's evangelists. Look at the musician, any dress they spend their time with the devil and power of darkness, and he will give them a new fashion dress and then they will have the new fashion dress and they will come out with the new fashion dress and then before you understand it tomorrow you will be wear in the world people of the world will begin to wear even the believer born again we are in child of god the style you are wearing, where does it come from? The hairstyle you are having, where does it come from? This and this and that you are having, where does it come from? Child of God, is it not time for you to say, God, show me favor, show me mercy. What have I copied from the world? The world is supposed to be copying from us. Then, but we are now copying from the world. Now we are copying from the world. You see to that. Don't try to be like the world. Oh my God. In the book of Romans chapter 12, verse 1 through 2. Romans chapter 1, verse 2. Romans chapter 12, I mean. Romans chapter 12, verse 1 and 2. Romans chapter 12, verse 1 and 2. Romans chapter 12, verse 1 and 2. So I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the message of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is a reasonable service. That means you have a service to do God, that's to live clean, that is to live pure, that is to live righteously for God and for the power of God. That is to live righteously for God and for the work of God. Therefore, brethren, they say, I beseech you by the message of the Lord that you begin to live for God for alone. God wants you to live for Him in holiness, presenting your body. Some people say, No, you can pain, you can pam, you can rob, you can do this and that. But here, the Bible is warning every one of us. The Bible says, presenting your body, presenting your body, holy and other before God, presenting your body a living sacrifice. That's what the word of God is saying, holy and other before God. That is an instruction from Jehovah God. That's an instruction from the mighty man of God. How far have you presented your body as a living sacrifice? Before the mighty man of God, present your body as a decision. Look at what this to say, and be not conformed to this world, but be you transformed by the renewing of your mind. That you may prove what is that acceptable will of God. That you may prove that which is the perfect will of God for your life. It, they, they, it is in renewal. Eh? It is in renewal that then you become acceptable. Keep on renewing your mind here and then. Keep on renewing your mind every time. Let's see what message Bible says. It says, so here. It, it says, so here. I want you to do. God. He said. You, 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 you look at what God wants you to do. You know, helping you. You know, He said, take your everyday ordinary life. 
you are sleeping, eating, going to work, walking around life, and uh, I am blessed before God as an offering. Oh my God, what a version of the Bible. This message Bible say, and so here, what I want you to do, God said, what I want you to do, he said, he, go, he said, God, help you, helping me, God, help so this is what I want you to do. God helping you, which is me. He's talking about Damien. Uh -huh. He said, take your everyday ordinary life. You are sleeping, eating, going to work, walking around life. And bless it before God as an offering. Hey, embracing what God does for you is the best thing you can do for him. Oh my God. Now, what God has done to you is as a result of the best you have done to him. Don't become so well adjusted to your culture that you fit into it without even thinking. Eh? But he said, don't just be adjusted into your culture that you fit into it without even thinking. You change from the inside out. Oh my God! Every stupid culture. You have been obeying with little time. You have been given. Let that culture be broken. That's the culture of family. That's the culture of my life. My family. We cannot go to any church that's not Catholic church. We, we can go and hear the word. We belong to the Catholic church. We are part of that. That is the the culture of the family. And like this version of the Bible. Every change, oh my God, he la da 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 da. Mama, 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 he said that you be changed inside out. Every change must come. Every change must start from inside. Any change that starts from outside to inside is not a good change. The change will start from inside and come outside. When it's from inside, it will come outside. Make the price of your time. There's no more time, brethren. You're going to give account of your time. How you spend on earth, how you spend money, how you spend on the 24 hours God has given to you. You see what the version of the Bible, the message Bible is the version I'm reading from. You see how it's warning you? See how he's you? You will change from the inside out. He said, readily recognize what he wants you from you. What he wants from you. May I recognize what God wants from me? So I'm going to do what he wants from me at every time. If you do, if you are doing what he wants from you, I'm doing what he wants from me. He wants me to be, you know, delivering people. He wants you to be preaching to people. He wants this person to be helping people. And when we are on our duty post, each and every one of us are different duty posts. Doing the will of God for our life and our different people doing the will of God for our life. Oh, we will never ever ever have anything to regret about. Okay, we will only be on the smiling side and we will only be on the laughing side. He said that. Okay, he said. Okay, for you. Okay. So what he wants is readily recognizing what he wants from you. And quickly turn to oh my God. This is for the Bible. What ready one from you and quickly respond to it. Unlike the God around you, always dragging you down to his level of uh, immaturity. This is the version of it is still explaining verse one and verse two of Romans. This is a message Bible. And that's why you are hearing this message. This message Bible. Oh my God. God brings the best out of you, developing way from maturity in you. Oh, God bring the best for you by developing the well, you know, well-established, cultured maturity from you. Make proper use of your time. Forget about the culture of your land. Before people marry my family, they will be 35. They will be 40. That's not the will of God. There are people that will marry at 20, 21, 22. There are people that marry at that time. You say our culture is that the elder doesn't marry, the younger doesn't marry before the elder. No, that's not biblical. That is not the word of God. Anybody can have opportunity. Somebody can appear and die in the age of 45 and maybe be the person has gotten married earlier and earlier. That is what I'm trying to tell you. So, at that particular time, you got married, God will be there to do their own for you. And then, this person might go anytime. 
and then you don't want him to her, him or her to do what God wants him to do. No, forget about the culture. Go to the standard of the word of God. Hallelujah. Don't try to be like this world. In all the ways I've tried to be like the world, preach like the world, think like the world, reason like the world. May God forgive me. May God forgive me and forgive you in the name of Jesus Christ. That we will share no more and forever and ever and ever and ever be like the world anymore. We shall be like people of God. We shall be like children of God. We shall do what God wants us to do. Yes, at the very old age, Elizabeth had this baby. While other people were having it at the age of 18, 19, 20. But at very old age, she had her own. At very old age, Sarah had her own. God, the way you plan my life, I don't want to replan it. Many of us have replanned the way God has created us. God created us back. We say we want to be white. God created us African. We say we want to be American. In any way, I've recreated myself. I'm sorry about that. My King and my God, show me favor and show me mercy. I want to be who God wants me to be. I want to be and be where God wants me to be. I want to stay with me. I want to take the one I want to receive the one to receive. I go to the level of education He wants me to go to. When God wants you to do it, that's plus for his degree. Stop being like others. This my child must be a medical doctor. So that I'll be fed up. My medical doctor, I want a medical doctor. That is fallacy. You know the destiny God has put in that child. You know to direct and create the anger of God. Uh, of God in that child. You in the child have a good. Make proper use of your time. Make proper use of your time. Make proper use of your time. Stop allowing people to drag you around. Right you, know, you don't know what you're going to do. At that particular, they toss you up and down. They throw you up. They bring you down. You don't know what to do. You don't know what to say. You don't know how to do anybody and you are somebody. But I want to let you know that God has a purpose for your life. God created for a purpose. Yeah. You are in pursuit of money. You are not living with a family. After 10 years of money, you are not living with a family. After 15 years of money, you are not living with a family. 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 You are not living with Say no problem. I'm going to try for one year, two years. He never did that then, and that was how it ended. And the young man called me and said, Oh, I parked my car somewhere, and somebody hit my car and I ran away. Then just destroyed the car. But you can try to get to somebody's building with time, and with time, he begin to read. Look, well, let me tell you, whatever thing you have done here on end, with time you are going to reap. Whatever thing you have sold, with time you are going to reap it. Go down now and make proper use of your time. Because so many people in here right now are crying and say, if I had known, I would have made a proper use of my time. If I had known, I wouldn't have said this. If I have known, I wouldn't have shown this wickedness. If I have known, I wouldn't have gone to this unbelieving marriage. If I have known, I would have remained single and die a single girl and go to heaven. If I have known, I would have spent my money helping people. If I have known, but look at me perishing in hell. Look at me dying in hell. God created you and gave you two eyes and gave you time and gave you opportunity and gave you eyes to talk and mouth to talk and look at you messing up and look at you using the against God in you. Instead of you to say, God, who am I? Am I where you want me to be? Forgive me. Instead of you to say that, you are not saying that. You are turning against God. You are fighting against God and God become your enemy. You have a lot of questions. You have been asking God, have he, have, have he answered you? Have God answered you? Those foolish questions you have been asking, has he answered you? Instead of you to come and say, God, I'm sorry. I am very, very sorry. I am guilty. It is me that is wrong. You are never wrong. I can never be wrong. Child of God, make proper use of your time. You have wasted your time in the world, wasted your time with foolishness. Instead of you to come and say, God, I have followed the way of foolishness and stupidity. Now that I'm in you, redirect my way. Now that I'm in you, show me the way of yours. Then, with the standard you have in the world, you come into Christ. And then, instead of asking for direction of life, what do you want me to do? How do you want me to do it? Then, sometimes God will use force to do it. A man, God, have created. Let be a multi-millionaire. The man spent the years of his life serving people, serving people. And then, few years, just few months for the man to have his graduate in poverty. 
and, and die like that. They come and sack the man. They put him and they give it, didn't give him anything. If they had paid him gratuit, he would have paid his hand and begin to eat the little gratuit, and then he would have died. They pushed him away. He was in pain, he was in penury, he was alive, he was set back all around, all around, all around backwards. And he began to cry. And I came to him. Look, the idea can always come to you when you are, an idea can always come to you when you are praying. You have no person to look to, to God alone. Because divine ideas can only come from God. And before you understand it, the man I him, I was working with a food company, they are fast food. If I can tell he bought a little man of the business. Today, so the man is a multi millionaire all over the world. He would have died a pooper. Look, literally, some of those that happened to you, God, the devil is a devil. God is not to bring you where you're supposed to be. Stop fighting with God. Stop fighting with God. Everything is not devil. Everything is not demon. Somebody saw a skeleton and begin to bind the skeleton. He said, Daddy, I dreamt about skeleton. I bind it. I will not die. I said, Have you asked God the meaning of that skeleton? He said, No. Skeleton is destruction. It's death now. It's evil. When I was praying, I said, God, you saw a skeleton. What happened? And the Lord said, He is like that skeleton. She is like that skeleton. She's dead before me. She's only born without flesh. Hey, I called the person and said, God said, you only born with our flesh. Everything is not devil. Everything is not demon. Stop spiritualizing everything. Ask God, what is happening to me? God, why am I doing? You know, cobwebs can meet you. Some people are working and make cobwebs, blood of this, blood of this. You are bigger than that. The fear in you could not allow the faith in you to manifest. Fear is in you. Faith is in you. Anyone you give opportunity will manifest. It's somebody hearing me. Children of God, awake. Come on. You have so spent much time. You have so spent much, much, much time of God. You have wasted enough of God's time. This is no more time for you to remain there and begin to say this or that or that. This is time for you to walk. Another point there is this. Like what I told you before. Oh, oh my God. Oh, oh my God. Time may fail me if I get into another point. Is it not time for us to say, okay, the bridge for another one? Is it not time for us to say, okay, Next time, one day we're going to start putting your eyes on Jesus and Nazareth and not on any man. But let me read this message Bible again. Of, um, let me read it again. Of a uh, 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 book of Romans, chapter 12, uh, Message Bible. This is a very powerful translation. Message Bible. It said, So here is what I want you to do. That means God said, I beseech you, brethren. That means this is what I'm pleading for you to do. He said, God, this is what I want you to do. God helping you. Lay your hand and say, God helping me. Say, God helping me. I've been a master of myself today. No. I hand this life fully to Jesus. You know, some of us surrender partly. That is why when I say that, some people begin to laugh. It's a few to say, I saw that. Some people are singing, I said, I surrender all. I said, You also know, God wants you to surrender all. And you surrender some. And you are telling lies that you have surrendered all. Stop telling lies before God. God is not your mate. Is somebody hearing me? Everything is in time. It is in time that people progress. It is in time that people die. It is in time that people manufacture. It is in time that people live. It is in time that people make shit. And for Sitala thought he has all the time, wanted to fight the whole world. Where is he today? He has gone. He felt all the Jews would be killed by him. Did he succeed anywhere? Oh, it is in time. Can you make good use of your time? To say, Jesus, I want to make proper use of my time. I won't complain anymore. I won't be a burden to anybody. I told God, don't let me to be burden anybody. Even in the time I'm going to die, I'm not going to die in sickness. So that I become burden. They carry you to this place, you begin to pass a scatter, pass you. No, 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 I will never die. I will never be, life in heaven. I will never be a burden to anyone. I was created to solution and not a burden. I was created to be an answer and not a problem. I am not the question, I'm an answer. Hello, let me read this version. So, what do you do? Remember, I'm reading from Makala Brahim. Da, 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 da. You know, I'm reading from the message Bible. I'm reading from the message Bible. So, here's what I want to do. God, help 
helping you. Take your every or take your every night you are sleeping, eating, going to work, and walking around life, and place it before us. Mama, 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 God, everything around me is an offering, a pleasant offering. God does not accept every offering. It is what is, you know, a, a, a pleasant smell. These are the one God will tell. What is my son doing? What is my daughter doing? She is singing. She is praising me. The she is passing through a hard time, but she is still praising me. She is passing through a difficult time, but she is still praising me. She is still worshiping me. I believe in what she is doing. Oh, may we be children of God in honor. May we be children of God that pleases the name of the Lord and the name of God be glorified. Let's continue it and hear the Bible the word of God say as we continue reading the Bible the word of God said uh -huh, so that you are sleeping you are eating going to work and walking around about life and place it before God as an offering okay embracing what God does for you is the best thing oh my God embracing not that one thing that oh, oh I don't know What the is the best? Stop eating up yourself. Stop killing yourself. Stop destroying yourself. What God does is the best. All things are working together for your good. Child of God. Everything bad, good, middle, medium, small, great, uplifting, downcasting. All things are working together for you for the past. God allow it to give him praise. Let him in the situation. When it is good, present. When it is bad, in your situation. Let him lift up again. And what God does is the best thing you can do. Okay? Now, uh, impressing what God does for you is the best thing you can do for him. Okay? Don't become so well adopted to God that you fit into it without even thinking. Instead, fix your attention on God. You will be changed. From the inside out, I need that change. I need that change. I need that change. Inside out, God, you know, I need give me my anger. Okay, readily recognizing what he wants from you. Oh, if I recognize what God wants from me, I will be so happy. I will be excited, fulfilling the will of God. Jesus said, "I came to do the work of my Master. I came to do the work of Him that sent me, and I will do it while it is day." Jesus knew. Do you see? He will do it while it is day, not while it is evening, because He knew He will live early. There are people that. All while it is even in that at the latter part of their life, they will be mightily used of the Lord. Those who go born again when we are in our teens, opportunity. There are people that go born again in the forties and fifties. They are still doing exploit for God and for the work of God. To God be all the glory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We give all we give all the worship and honor, adoration and thanksgiving forever and ever in Jesus. Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord forever and ever. And watch the nation of the day. We watch the mighty man of the Lord. Yes, the Bible continues to sing. In, in the, really recognizing what he wants from you. And quickly respond to it. Let me know it and respond to it. Not being what God wants you to do, but responding to it. But responding to it. But responding to it. Responding to what God wants you to do. Hallelujah. Okay? Okay? Responding to it. Unlike the culture around you, always dragging you down to its level of immaturity, God bringing the best out of you, develops where for maturity in you. Oh my God, where for maturity. Maturity that will make me to say thank you, Jesus, in the midst of pain, in the midst of lack, in the midst of persecution. In the midst of slapping, in the midst of abuse, in the midst of accusation, I will still say thank you, Jesus, for the King and God and Lord. To God be our glory. We bless the mighty man of honor. We worship the ancient of the day. We honor and adore the Raphael. God be magnified. God be worshipped. God be exalted. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we bless him. We bless him. So, God will help us to spend our time in honor, in might and power. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God wants us to spend our time in his will. 
Father, thank you. Father, thank you. Father, thank you. For today we are spending the time in the will of God. Can you begin to say, God, I'm sorry. Every time I have wasted in eternity, I know I'm going to give account. You give this freely to me. I don't need to go to Central Bank of America. I don't need to go to Central Bank of Australia. I don't need to go to British Bank to get it, oh Lord. You give it freely to me to manage. Can you begin to say, God, I'm sorry. Anywhere I have wasted your time, any opportunity, any stone I have not thrown, oh God, anything I have that have eluded me, that I have not gone into, that I am very sorry about it today, Lord. Show me favor, show me mercy. Show me your greatness, and Lord. Mercy. Show me your favor, Lord, that I will live to be who you want me to be, live to be like you, and live to be like Jesus in the morning, in the afternoon, all day long, to be like Jesus of Nazareth. May the help of God come our way, and may Christ then be honored forevermore. Hey, can you begin to pray? Can you begin to say, God, help me? I don't want to be like others. I don't want to be like them. I want to be like Jesus of Nazareth. I want to make proper use of time. I know I will disappear one day. I know time is not in my favor. I know every time I've wasted, I'm going to give account of it. Father, help me to value time, to know the properness of time, that time is not on my side, that one day my time will end up. You have a timing for me. You gave me so, so, so time to pray. Right? If I don't operate according to them, one day I shall live. One day it shall end. One day it shall be over. And then I will be on the crying side in eternity. I will be on the judging side in eternity. Oh, 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 I need to make proper use of my time. We're going to continue this message by next week, Monday. By the divine grace of God, part three of this message. So that you don't really away time. That everything in time. Your favor is in your time. Your opportunity is in your time. Your pollution is in your time. Your greatness is in your time. Your money is in your time. Your uh, 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 honor is in your time. Everything is in your time. God packaged it and gave it to you. God has wasted it. God, it. God can still favor you. Can begin to pray. Say, so God, I'm sorry. I come to you. I don't want to make use of my time again. I want to admit you. I'm making use of this time. That I'm not going to waste it anymore. God is shame. Me something, God showing me something. God is showing me corn, an old corn, an old corn, an old corn. You know, in Africa here, we harvest corn, we put those to the blend so that it will be rainy and it will sustain for another year. But God is showing me corn that was something. It has been there for one year, two years, three years, and it is gotten rot there. I don't know what you are doing with your life. The life you are supposed to give to Christ, the life you are supposed to plan for others, to grow in order, you are wasting it. I've seen an old corn, I'm seeing old corn, I'm seeing old corn, I'm still hiding somewhere. And God is saying, go and follow, go and make your follow. This time planted, there will be plenty of us again, that there will be plenty in the house of again. But it's going to say, come on, it's not time to go, it's not over here, it's not to go, it's not more. Move on, and it's greatness and goodness and honor, power, might and majesty. May the mighty hand of God help us to succeed in life. That will be who God wants us to be. Can we begin to pray? I know personally, I have wasted a lot of his time. I have done, you know, a lot of things. A man was called by God, and God told him, after 24 years, the man of God was saying, Oh God, I'm waiting for you to bless me. I'm waiting for you to bless me. And God said, You have been wasting my time. You have wasting my time. I am the one that has been waiting for you. I called you. To be a teacher and a prophet, but you choose to be a prophet, a teacher, a pastor, and an evangelist. And I allowed you. I am the one that called you. I wanted you to be a prophet and a teacher, but you choose to be a, a, a pastor and evangelist. I allow you. You are touring from place to place. And what did you get out of it? Out of this flying up and down, what did you get out of it? Settle down and be who I want you to be, and that will bless you. Where God, where, 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 where God wants you to be is where your blessing is. If you fly away from there, you become a rolling stone that will never gather mass. Can't you come back and say, God, that will, that will. I'm coming back to time. I'm coming back to that will. If I've made mistake in my marriage, correct it now. I'm not going to leave him. I'm taking the vow. If I've made mistake or this or that, correct me now, Lord. Oh, Lord, even if I've made mistake in the name of my answer, like that Jacob made a mistake, everything was hurting him, everything was problem. What is the meaning of your name? Many of us are answering the names without meaning. And answering the name, we never understand the meaning. Is it not a time for us to say, God, show me mercy? Hey, Rabba, Baba, Baba, Fa, show me, Fa, me, Can we begin to pray? Show me mercy. I've wasted your time. I've done what you don't want me to do. I felt I have done much when I have not done anything. We are celebrating. Our church is 5,000 people. And we are celebrating when there are millions dying and perishing.
salvation, you only get it out of millions and billions of fish in water. You only get five thousand after fifteen years, and you are liberated. Stop that nonsense. No, oh, no more. Let the preaching world do. Let everyone world do. Stop saying this is science. Stop thinking that you have done much. We have not even started the work. Souls are perishing and dying every day. And they're not to be saved. Because you must ever miss you. May God wake us up again. That all this complaint is enough. Let us find our mistakes. And say, I am wrong. I am the one who is guilty about you. God can never be guilty. Is that you doubt it? Father, thank you for the word, God. I begin to pray for my brother and sister. As many that I am convicted, I am convicted. And then I was taking duty as I am. I am guilty, oh God. Oh, my brother, and sister, that are guilty at the same time. Begin to forgive us. Begin to make us awake and sleep and slumber. We are so spent, spend your time, waste your time in vanity, in things that are not useful, in gossiping, in finding fault in other people, in saying what you know, we are not supposed to say. We are very sorry today. Father, show us mercy. Father, show us your favor. Forgive us this time around. And let that mercy come our way. And let that greatness and favor come our way. And let the name of Christ alone be glorified forever and ever in the name of Jesus Christ of Thank you for the great answer. We bless you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, my King and God. Hallowed be your name forever. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And amen and amen. If you have had this message, you are born again. That's the worst that could happen to you. That means you are not just wasting God's time, you are born in it. Live it wisely. The first Wisdom you are going to apply is coming to Jesus. Receiving Him as Lord and Savior. Can you write do that now and write them with church? Jesus, I'm sorry I'm a sinner. I'm sorry I've wasted your time. Please forgive me, Lord. Give me grace of your child. Give me grace to live for you in the name of Jesus. I receive you, Jesus. Save you. Shame mercy. Amen. May God bless you. God love you, Lord. The God of favor show you ever. And the name glorify you in the name of Jesus. Today, the grace of God is given to you. May you live holily, righteously for God and His greatness. In Christ's name, be honored forever. In your life, all day long, in Jesus' wonderful name, we pray. Amen. And amen. And amen. And amen. God bless you. I like this message that I'm going to be careful with the time. I'm preaching to myself. I'm preaching to myself. I have had the opportunity of going over there. And then for me to come and not make it again depends on time. I don't know how long he has given to me. He has not told me. This is the long time I'm giving to you. So let's be praying for one another. I pray for you, pray for me. That I got to go back there again to the glory of his name. And Christ may only be glorified. Praise the worship of my God in Jesus' name. Thank you for those of you who have been supporting us. Those of you who have been helping this voice to be louder. No, this voice is loud, but you are making it to be louder. So you are making it to be louder. This message is going viral. People come in from many parts of the world. I listen to this message. I listen to this message. I become happy. I say, who are sharing and sharing. Go on sharing. And God help you, protect and preserve you. His name be glorified forever in your life. In Jesus' wonderful name we pray. Amen. God bless you. For somebody. Let the best idea come to you. You are in confusion now. You want between two things. You don't know the choice. But let the idea come. Best idea of how to do it come to you. Confusion. 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 Let that be for you now. The best way to do it and the best idea to do it. And you will do it and Christ will glorify forever and ever in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you. I love you. Jesus loves you. Him alone, God glory forever and ever in Jesus' wonderful name we pray. Amen. It is well with your soul. Thank you.